He struck it very well. Oh, what a good shot. Perfect. Welcome back to another Spencer Brown Golf video. We're out here at Fisher Branch Golf Course once again. This is the next day after the video that you saw uh, whenever I upload it. Today I'm going to be doing a two person scramble with my cousin Bryce behind the camera. You'll see him in a second when he hits his shot. Uh, again, like I said yesterday, uh, the course isn't in great shape. So I think our goal will be to shoot around even par. Uh, hole one again is a par five of 543 yards. I'm hitting driver this time. Uh, I didn't hit driver once yesterday, so now you guys get to see the D stick. Hopefully I can put it in the fairway. Nice shot! Oh, that's far. That's a long way down. And it's dead straight. So this is my cousin Bryce, he's an absolute beast. We're gonna see what he can do here. See how it goes. He struck it very well. It's just a little bit left, so we'll be taking mine. But nice shot. So here's where my ball ended up. Still got about 280-ish yards to the green. Bryce is gonna lay up with an iron, then I'm gonna go for it. It's a great day. Not a cloud in the sky. It's a great day for golf. Well, that kick left. Oh, kicked right. <laughs> he struck it well. But just a little bit right. So Bryce is out of place, so I'm gonna lay up because I don't think I can get there with a three wood today. So I got a pitching wedge. Gonna put it just short of those three big trees down the fairway. Perfect. There we go. I'll have a shot in from there. This is where my ball ended up. I have about 150 yards left to the green. Just up ahead, it's kind of guarded by those trees. They might pose a bit of a threat, but hopefully they won't. I got a nine iron. Hopefully I can knock it on the green. Hold on. Nice oh, We're potting, boys. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going for the green also. Use a seven iron today. He's got a seven iron. I put us on the green. He's going to see if he can put it a bit closer. He chunked it. But that's all right. You know why? Because we're, we're, we're on the green. Doesn't matter. It is called snowball for a reason. And I got some snow in my way. So I'm going to have to, uh, we're both going to have to putt through it. The hole is where the wedge is. Hopefully we can two putt for a par. Bruh. Oh my word. That snow. I got the exact same shot going through the snow. Got to hit it hard to the, have to get it past. Yeah, it's going to be tough to get there. He's got to hit it hard, but then if he hits it too hard, it's going to go way past. So if he can get this closer than mine, I'd say that's pretty good. Like going through mud. Bruh. Ooh, nailed that. He hit that hard. I think it might be a bit closer than mine, so I think we'll be taking that. So we still got about six feet left here for par. Hopefully Bryce can make it. <laughs> I don't do some snow golfing uh, putt from before, so <laughs> hopefully I can make par here. Touch it up. Bruh. Look at this dude. Put it way outside. Bogey on hole one. So I was a bogey on hole one. It was tough. We would have two putted it, but you know, this is snow golf, so we had to play the snow. So this is hole number two. It's par four, dog leg left. I got driver. Hoping to hit a cut. Turn around the curve a bit. Hopefully, have a wedge in. Nice shot. That one's a little left. I think we'll be able to find it though. Okay, so I'm in a bit right here, going for the cut around the trees. Hopefully, you can put it in the fairway because I think I'm in the trees. A little poppy off to the left. Where my ball ended up, 
It actually didn't go in the trees, so that's really nice. They cleared them. We got about 145 in. Um, again, I don't know where the pin is on the screen, so we're just aiming for the green. Uh, I got this little smooth nine iron, just trying to get it on the green, get ourselves a putt, maybe make a birdie. Here we go. That is short and right. Bunker. Yes. Not a good shot. We're going for the green also. Need an eight iron, gonna aim a little bit left. Oh, what a good wow, shot. Nice it might be shot. a bit short though. Yeah, this is where Bryce is balling it up. Mine was in that bunker over right there. Full of snow. <laughs> yeah, snow bunker. Uh, so this hole, the snow is still covering the hole. So that yellow ball is where we're going to. Uh, as long as you hit the ball, like we'll say it counts. <laughs> he flubbed it. Flubbed it. Well, Pressure's on me. Snow golfing is how it goes. I shot. Landed right in the snow. So we'll see if Spencer can clutch up here and get us close to the yellow ball. Oh, we're putting. That's right. We're putting from the snow. This is snow golf after all. All I have to do is hit the ball at any sort of speed. And, uh, oh, he tried. So there's the hole, the ball, and then there's my ball. Hit it way too hard. Hopefully Bryce can hit the ball or get it close. Yeah, Spencer's playing for the snow a little too much, so I'm gonna go for a lighter shot here. If I can get it close. Oh, we barely missed it. Hit it too hard again, playing for the snow too much. So it goes. You can just tap that in. Yeah. It's just uh tapping gimme. All you gotta do is hit the ball, so it doesn't really matter. But he didn't hit the ball, so now I have to hit the ball. Okay, all he's got to do is hit it straight. This is for bogey. There we go. There's um, only one par five, so we wanted to replay it. So we're at hole number three again. And uh, I got driver again. Maybe I, hopefully I can do exactly what I did last time. I hit the set down. I think that one just crept into the trees. Bryce, what's the game plan here? All right, so Spencer went a little bit into the trees, maybe. He might still be in play. But uh, I'm going to just go for a nice, easy, down the middle fairway shot. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, right down, the, right down the middle. Right down the middle. Oh, 20 yards. All right, so we're walking up to my ball here in the fairway. Uh, not in the fairway, actually in the trees, I think. Hopefully uh, we can find it. I think we, we will be able to find it. It'll just be a matter of whether we can play it or not. In scrambles, you do get a uh, club length of relief. So if it is like barely in the trees, you could like pull it out and still have a shot. If not, maybe just punch out and uh, still get on the green in three and make a par or birdie or something like that. You know, it is snow golf, so it's tough to score. Like you saw in the first hole, we three putted because we were in the snow and that makes it pretty tough to uh, to play well and the second hole too you know we were in the snow for the for the second putt hit it too hard because it's hard to judge that kind of snow golf you know yeah exactly what he said so like we're playing bogey golf for now we went bogey bogey so if we can uh if we can keep that up that'd be decent but you know maybe throw a couple pars in there i think we're gonna play at least two more holes i think three more so you know if we can maybe make a couple a couple pars a couple bogeys i think that'd be pretty good for uh, considering the conditions today. So uh, stay tuned. My ball's right there, barely in the trees. So, oh, actually, so we're gonna take a club length of relief. My driver shaft is actually a bit shorter than Bryce's. So I'm gonna take his driver. Get all the distance we can here. Get one length of relief, a little Perfect. bit more, that's okay. And uh, we should still be able, should still have a swing in to the green. Okay, so I got a, I got a hybrid here. Hopefully I can just maybe, maybe get half sw half of a swing, punch out and lay up. Because again, this is a really long par five, so it's kind of impossible to go for it. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. That's running. That's running so far. So I'm going for the same shot Spencer did, just trying to get it straight out there in the fairway. Um, possibly put it farther than him. He had a really good shot. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, he had the right idea, he just hit it a little left. Yeah, 
That's all right. We're in good position. My ball ended up about 140 yards from the pin. Got a pitching wedge. So we're actually closer than we were last time I played this hole. So that's good. Uh, hopefully I can put it on the green. That's the same spot my last shot was. Nice hole! Oh, a bit further down. But I think it's on the back of the green, so we're all right. So Bryce got an eight iron here. He's just gonna put it on the green. Ah, he chunked it a little bit. He kind of leaned. Dead straight, so. He kind of leaned back on his back foot, but he had the right line there. You can see here, Spencer's in a great line for the hole. No snow in his way, but if you recall earlier, this snow here was about as thick as it is there. In the uh, in the first uh, in the first hole we played, this is the same hole, but now it's all melted. So we'll have a great chance here for uh, for a par. Caught some snow there, a little break to the left. Nice yeah, shot. Finished that off the par. <laughs> and, um, boys, this grass hasn't been cut in a while. Don't judge me. It's pretty thick. I misread it. That's all right. I have confidence that Bryce will make that putt. It's up to you to finish um, this hole out because I missed that par. Lucky. That was a good, break, that was a good line though. So Bryce needs to make that for par. Yeah. Ooh. Beauty. That's par. That's par. Nice. Let's go. Par. Let's go. Uh, four. Par four. 350. Oh, three no, 264 from here. Uh, Bryce is going to hit a hybrid. If he puts it in the fairway, I'll hit driver. Uh, if he doesn't hit a great shot, then I'll hit hybrid as well. <laughs> All right. We're off. It's the tree. Good, uh, good Hits the tree yards. branch right in the fairway. I got a hybrid. Hopefully, gonna put one in the fairway. Here we go. Keep cutting. Oh, yeah, we're fine. So, my ball found the bunker here. It's got a bit of a little lip to deal with, but I think I'll be all right. Hopefully, just get it on the green, get us putting for birdie. That's what we're looking for here. Well, I got out. I shanked it though. All right, Bryce also in the bunker. Um, hopefully, he can uh, get it on the green because I didn't. Bruh. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you hit behind it. That's what you should do when you're in a, a greenside bunker. But you see, when you're in a fairway bunker and you hit behind it, then it loses all of its velocity and goes nowhere. Um, so I guess we'll be taking line hopefully get up and down for par. This is where my ball ended up Bunkers there so you can see that I shanked it But that's all right greens there. The pin is about right there Can't really see it. I'm gonna try to begin leave it a bit short. So we have an uphill putt exactly right Here we go Oh, Whoa. a little hard a little long and a little right, but at least we're putting yep. it's like pin high All right, Spence. What's the plan? I got the same club Bryce had. Hopefully hit a little bit closer and make a par. Sick. Oh, I checked a bit. Okay, a little long. So it's pretty straight. It curves a little bit uh, this way to start, but overall it's a straight shot. Might have made it. Oh, oh. it curved, it, it banked that way at the end. Yeah, it did a little bit. Shoot. Here on this hole, he can play it about a dead straight because it breaks, it breaks to the to the right at the start, and then at the end it breaks to the left, as you can see with my shot that we had there. So, looking good, looking good, looking good. Hey, oh, that's great. So we're talking about tar. We're on the last hole here, hole number eight, it's our fifth hole or fourth hole of the day, par four, dog leg right. The fairway's kind of there, and then it curves behind those trees. Um, so Bryce is going to try and knock one in the fairway. For some reason, he has a driver, but whatever. He's going for a light shot. He's going for light. So, okay. you know, the lighter I hit it, the more accurate I am. That's very true. That's good advice. If you're playing golf and you're just hitting it not well, just take a higher club, swing smooth, and that usually works. Usually works. Usually. Oh, it was looking really good, but... Uh... 
rolled into the trees. You hit it well though, if you just aimed right, like if you aimed there for that little fade, that would have been perfect. So Bryce went into the woods, so I got an iron, I got a six iron. Hopefully I can just put it down the middle of the fairway and have a shot into the green. Nice shot! That is dead straight, folks. Perfect. Right down the fairway. That's what you like to see. Bruh, look at this dude. This is where my ball ended up, right down the middle of the fairway. Green's up there. Got about 120 yards. I got a very light pitching wedge. Pin is in the back. Maybe we can make a birdie here, get it back to plus one, but a par we will take. Ooh. That is in pretty tight. I think that's about 10 feet, folks. Okay, so going for the same thing as Spencer, just trying to get straight out there on the green. Using 8 iron, going for a smooth swing. I like it, I like it. Ah, he had a good line again, he just topped it. Topping it always with the irons. So. That's how it goes. Spencer had a great shot, so we're good. This is where my ball ended up. There's the hole. Got about 10 feet up the hill for birdie. Bryce is going to see if he can knock it in. Pulled it a little bit and he hit it pretty hard. Yeah. If I would make this, this would be my own birdie. So let's see if I can do it. Oh, it Ooh, moved right. What the heck? At the very end there, it all of a sudden right here. It moved right. It was tracking. These greens are wobbly here. That was a little bit weird. That's right. Oh, that's, that's a been par. That's a good finish to a good round. Oh, yeah. So that's the end of another Spencer Bound Golf video. Played snow golf with my cousin Bryce. We had a really good time. We shot plus two through five holes. So, I mean, it's not bad. You know, the snow did come into play. It did make a difference. I lost a few strokes, but we had fun. And uh, this is the last video from Fisher Branch. The next video will probably be back at, back at my home course. So stay tuned for that whenever that comes out. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more if you enjoy this. And I'll uh, we'll see you in the next one.